Hello everyone, this is Salesforce Lori and tonight I'm going to show you how I made a flow to automatically put a date here for when I update this field risk status from no risk to at risk. Um, I have removed because um, in, in the prior videos I have shown how to make this so that when I chose uh, at risk um, my I had a validation rule that I had to have a, a value for this date and then another validation rule that would uh, require that the date will be not in the future. So those are two validation rules that I had to make sure that my field not only is uh, updated but also to prevent the user from entering a date that's into the future. So at the same time, I thought, well, somebody suggested <laughs> that to save time also to keep the data cleanliness um, to just create a flow to enable that so that when I choose the at-risk status, this date field here is automatically updated with today's date. So um, I'm not going to show you that for now because I don't have that flow yet. I'm going to demonstrate how to make that one. Um, also, I already deleted the prior validation rules that I made for the conditions that I set for that date field. So um, let us now proceed to making that flow. We are going to name this flow. Um, enter date when member at risk okay so for this one since we are going to make the changes the, the updates to the date field um, after we update the record we are going to use the record triggered flow and for that we are going to use the risk status as condition so we were on the contact object right so that was contact contact at risk date so that's the object and we are only going to trigger once the record is updated from no risk to at risk and the condition will be such that the risk status will be equal to at risk and we're only going to do that once. We are going to use the fast field update so that the flow runs before the record is saved. It's done. And so that part there was updated, was um, edited. Now, so we are going to add the element so that we are going to update the triggering record. We're not using a different record, but it's the same record. So um, we're going to label that as enter date when member is at risk and we are going to describe that as that. This will update the field date when member is deemed at risk with today's date. And this is grayed out already. You cannot really choose any of these other two choices you can just use the user contact record to trigger the flow because you are running the flow before the record is saved and we will leave this part here as such and we will set the date field that is what we wanted to automatically be updated now we are not going to enter an actual date but we are going to use a formula because uh, it will have to be the date when you actually want it. Um, you know, when when you actually updated the record to at risk. So enter the enter the date today. I'm just gonna copy and paste today. So that's my API name.
uh, I'm not too good at copy pasting. Okay, there is that, and of course, it's going to be a date. Uh, where'd that go? Hmm. Anyway, so update the date. And number is at least to today's date. Today's date. And user. Thank you, sir. risk okay so for the formula we are just going to say today that okay so that's now your resource click done and we are going to debug oh, i guess we'll have to save first um Paste. It doesn't want me to paste. Let's see. Let's try that again. Okay. Enter data day or number is at risk. And number is deemed at risk uh, date is automatically entered okay let's try to debug that and we will try to see um, address date. Okay, so we're going to try to change the status to at risk and run that and see if it works. So, from the little that I've learned so far about flows, when these are orange, you're good. <laughs> um, this will take some time for me to actually understand. Okay, especially this part here. But so far so good. We are going to activate that and see if it actually works. We are going to just refresh this page here. And we will try to change risk status to at risk from no risk. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out how to do this. But with practice, it gets better. That's the only way to do it. Keep practicing, right? Okay, we are finally getting back to that contact record and going to the details we are going to update the risk uh where's that okay here it is we are going to change that to at risk and of course i'm not going to enter anything there i'll just click save and look at what it does to the date Ta -da! it does have the date now that's it. I hope somehow I have demonstrated that I'm learning. 
<laughs> this video is not really to teach you how to do flows but it's mainly for me to document how I'm making my flows and it will be fun to review them in the future you know I hope you enjoyed this video I don't know how complicated the end product the end of this project will be but I'm having a good time just journaling about my learning adventures. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.